Těžší, protože více mé svého divizi jsou. Krásná pozice pro Davida Korelovci. Jak má je to tak, kolega? To jsme se znovu vyšmykl. Fuuu, tak to je neskutečné. Celá hla stojí. Ty tu oktagonu mi nikdy nevezme. Oktagon se vrací do nejtvrdšího města republiky. No a teď je samozřejmě na řadě otázka, proti komu bude Kozma obhajovat. Poprvé v historii MMA se šampion dvouváhových kategorií pokusí o to, co ještě nikdo před ním nedokázal. Já jsem zápasil na celém světě a nikdo mě nepoznal. 23 submisí má na svém kontě Ivan Buchinger. Buky je zpeč, kámo. Tohle je zvíře. Půjdeme dolů, já si myslím. Mám jeden opasok, tak chcem ten druhý. A další tvrdá prava. Tak to je neskutečné, loket. Mr. Kozma, možná, že přijdem. Legendární Ivan Buchinger vyzve nespochybnitelného krále a dosud jediného šampiona této váhy. Davida Kozmu. Růžový panter je v oktagonu s devíti vítězstvími bez jediné porážky. Když vyhraju, tak to bude trošku ostuda, že mě porazila ještě šestka. Kozma ještě zasahuje tvrdou levou a je konec. Ale nemal ještě zápas vůky. <laughs> I kdyby já si přibíral, tak, tak prostě v té váze není zvyklý. A ten zápas půjdu 100% vyhrát. Vím, že já jsem ten, kdo může získat ten třetí opas. A chybět nebudu. Ostravští rodáci. Matěj Kuzník, tvrdák Jan Široký a bývalý titulový vyzivatel v těžké váze Daniel Dietrich. Vítězové reality show Octagon Výzva, Karol Ryšavý a Roman Paulus. A v neposlední řadě zápas, ve kterém to opět bude osobní. Z nějakého toho kamarádstva už se upustilo behom 5 sekund. I kdybych měl umřít, i kdybych měl být diskvalifikovaný, on nevyhraje ostrově. Ostravar Arena. Poslední lístky v síti Ticket Portál a živě na octagon.tv. Jeden ze dvou ženských zápasů na turnaj Octagon Prime 4. Priscila de Killa de Souza Matias z Brazílie a proti ní záskok na poslední chvíle z Izraele Big Bad Olga Rubin. I expect this fight to be a very aggressive. Priscila Matias je na 1,60 kg a domluvenou váhu dokonce 63 kg opravdu maličká, 155 cm. Ovšem, i s nimi dokázala v 21 zápasech odcházet 12 krát jako vítězka. Vai ser uma luta forte, dura, mas estou aqui para trazer a vitória, levar a vitória. Ukončila devět svých soupeřek, především sedm submisí, vyčnívá v jejím skóre, stejně jako černý pás v brazilském jiu-jitsu. Rubin má na svém kontě tři KO, zápasy v Bellatoru a také je šampionkou Izraele v brazilském jiu-jitsu v rámci fialových pásů. I'm very versatile. I can adapt to any situation. Bude to tentokrát stačit na ten brazilský černý, anebo si Olga Rubin poradí s Priscilou v postoji. Otázky, na které dostaneme odpověď v tomto velmi zajímavém zápase bantamové váhy. So we move to the first of our female contests here. This is a catchweight bout at 63 kilograms. This lady making her debut, Priscilla the Killer de Souza, 32 years of age from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Now she was set scheduled to fight Cornelia Holm. Holm had to come out just five days ago from the fight, so a late change of a replacement for her. But for my money, when I've watched this, this lady back, she has one style. She only concentrates on the what she does best in the cage. She loves to get that clinch, get the grapple, get you on the on the mat and use those black belt skills. And that's what she's ultimately going to try to do, no matter who the opponent is in front of her. Yeah, absolutely. She will, uh, she will try to take you down and uh, use her BJJ skills uh, to win. Yeah, she's uh, finished nine of her opponents by finished two knockouts, seven submissions. A martial artist since the age of 13. Started jiu-jitsu and has won multiple titles over there. But Jan, she's giving up a massive height and reach advantage. She is all of five foot tall, going up against the five foot nine Israeli fighter uh, Olga Rubin. 
There's some big issues to get inside. It's a big issue, but uh, keep in mind that uh, she's mainly uh, a, a grappler. Uh, so once she gets close, and she will get close probably, if it won't be over after uh, 30 seconds like this uh, second fight, uh, she has a chance. So I know that it's a big issue, but uh, she, know, she knows how to work with that and uh, how to uh, use her strengths. Yeah, she, she's also somebody to, to get it to the position she want, will, wants, will take risks for some high risk trips and throws. Even if she gives up the bottom position, she's happy just to be on the mat to get that clinch game underway. And here we go, big, bad Olga Rubin finally, finally making the walk back to the cage. Now it's been a frustrating two years for this lady. Uh, she started the career off with a six fight win streak, then stepped into the Bellator cage. She's fought Julia Budd for that featherweight title. Uh, she lost that, she got outsized in that fight. Then she went on to fight Sinead Kavanagh, who will be the next title challenger yes. for that. And she got outgunned in that. Sinead Kavanagh's hands were, were, were supreme. But since then, she's been kind of on the sidelines and she's openly been frustrated about that. She's, she's somebody, when you watch her Instagram, when you follow her on social media, she's always in the gym, she's always training, she's always helping her training partners prepare. But she's not had that goal in sight. Now, five days ago, the phone rang. Five days ago, they offered her a fight and she is not one to turn down the challenge, despite the fact this now being at 63, when she usually fights at 66 kilograms. Yeah, and ima imagine how hungry she's going to be when she fought last time in 2019, like you said. Uh, absolutely, and you look in the corner there, Brad Pickett on this, a coach from Israel, Moshki, Moshik, sorry. Uh, such a bond that they've got, and really when you look at the, the Great British top team, the Great Britain top team uh, set of ladies that she trains alongside as well, some absolute talent down there, really uh, has got some good bodies to work with, and sometimes when you're a, uh, a female fighter, finding the, the, the level of training partner can be key as well to your preparation. Yes, exactly. It's the same case, uh, same, I'm sorry, same case as uh, sometimes as heavyweights. Or, I mean, yeah, guys. Heavyweights yeah, or yeah. flyweights, the yeah. two extremes. Heavyweights, flyweights. Get, finding those, but finally, finally, what this must feel like for that lady there, making her octagon debut. Big, bad Olga Rubin in the cage. And there's the tail of the tape. Look at that height advantage there, Yeah, and absolutely towers over the Brazilian. But the Brazilian... 19 centimeters. Yeah. Height advantage for Rubin. For the Brazilian. 13 fights more experience. We shall wait and see how this unfolds. Let's hand it to Andre Novotny. Dámy a pánové, máme před sebou první ze dvou ženských zápasů. Tentokrát domluvená váha 63 kg. Pojďme si představit obě ženy. Nejprve modrý roh. 32 let, 155 cm, 62,4 desetiny kg na váze. Munich All-Star Gym pod trenérem Michelem Dejgou, Šekem a Marianem Matičem má na svém kontě 21 zápasů, 12 vítězství. 9 ukončení před limitem a 9 porážek. Representing Brazil, Priscila de Quilla de Souza, Matias. Červený roh, 32 let, 174 cm, 62,7 desetin kg na váze. GB Top Team, Moshi Box a Team Pact má na svém kontě má pod trenérem Mošikem Kejdarem a Bredem Piketem. Má na svém kontě 8 zápasů, 6 vítězství z toho 3 KO a pouze 2 porážky. Dnes večer v červeném rohu za Izrael Olga Big Bad Rubin. Wow. <laughs> that height advantage, height advantage. You saw it evident there. We have Olga Rubin in the red corner, taking on Priscilla the Killer de Souza in the blue. Scheduled for three five minutes rounds. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Jan Malek, calling the action here at Octagon Prime Four in part of the Bitsa, the Czech Republic. And off we go. De Souza has that low stalking style. She'll throw some wild shots to get that clinch, Jan. It's got to be about sticking and moving right for Olga. 
Stay long. Use that reach advantage. Don't give it away. Yes, just like you say. And I'm not sure how long the longest hiatus to break you've had from a... Oh, and there's oh, those big shots oh. But Ruben has her back. Yeah, Ruben, no slouch on the ground as well. It's really... Oh. Oh, champ, but this is... The Sousa's game. It's just so heavy on top. And again, that height and reach advantage is completely negated when you are on your back on the mat with somebody. Yes. It's early to get it down, though. Early to get it down, indeed. Oh, Ruben working that high guard. Can she isolate one of those arms? That would be a scalp to take. Oh, that, it would be phenomenal to catch BJJ Black Belt with an early oh, first round arm bar. Yeah, from bottom as well. Oof, now looking for the scramble. Can she get back to her feet? And D'Souza, this is one of her moves. Watch out for the neck. She Watch loves the neck. Farming Gitin. Ruben back to her feet. Got to stay calm and composed. Will she jump guard? Great work from Olga Rubin there, getting back to her feet. But there's a warning shot, yeah, that only took one connection for yes. Priscilla to get it to the mat and to get top position. I'm sure the heart was in the mouth there of, of the coach, Brad Pickett and Moshik. And I was going to ask you, Jan, what's the longest break you've had from a fight? Because Olga Rubin out of the cage for two years, very emotional return. She's. Uh, dedicated her whole life to this sport now and, and to be sort of shelled for two years has yeah. been very hard for her. Maybe nine months because uh, I train all the time and uh, when I train after a certain amount of time uh, I just want to fight. I, I don't want to train for nothing. So um, two years for me it would be it would be frustrating. It's in absolutely phenomenal shape. But again, that judo takedown by the Souza. It was really powerful. Well, when you look at body types for judo, that small one with that low center of gravity is perfect for it. Yes. Right? You have to manipulate the weight, engage the hips so easily. Oh, Ruby might give up her back here. You've got to be careful. Elbow attempt by Ruben. Nice turn there. Got the underhook, good technical turnaround. And good knee to the midsection. And I actually talked to Brad, I traveled with him last night and, uh, and today about Olga's game and he said one of the good positions, one of the strong positions he's got is up against the cage here. She really does understand. Yeah, she looks strong. Yeah. Because so, I was asking, are you going to be scared about keeping that? He said, the distance when you're up against the cage, Olga's very skilled here, causes a lot of problems, can grind it out, make it ugly, cause you uh, a lot of issues. And the Souza turned her around. Oh, wow. But Rubin had a, had a good frame, utilizing that elbow. Down once again, Olga Rubin. Oh, that overhand right just grazing the braids there. Oh, the left hand connected. A couple of warning shots. Oh, and again, and again. Once again, Priscilla de Souza with a similar technique. Yeah, just did it in motion then as they were going to the mat. Last 30 seconds. Oh, Ooh. maybe go for the buggy choke. Can she set this up? This would be unreal. This would be phenomenal. That's in. That could be it's in. really in. Need to see it from the other angle. This is great. Last the 10 seconds. Choke. Can Olga Rubin pull it off? Thumbs up there from Thumbs the up, Sousa. Yeah. But that shows the dexterity there of Ruben and the understanding. What an awful position to set that up from. We've seen it a couple of times in MMA now. That buggy choke coming through, but Ruben 
That looks like something that she's got up her sleeve. She's used that before 100%. And, and, and to use it against Black Belt. Yes. Talk about confidence. What an interesting first round between these two now, Yan. Yeah, interesting evening so far. Yeah, without a doubt. Very different fights, very entertaining fights. Yeah, certainly here at the Paladin Bits up, being treated to some exquisite martial arts. Let's look back at some of the action. Talk us through this, Jan. This was early on in that round. Yeah, this is early. This time Ruben had her back for a while, but uh, after that, Priscilla took her down. This left hook landed for Priscilla. And here's that second takedown, the judo style takedown. Round one in the books. Plenty to uh, talk about from round one, but still a potential two more to go. Olga Rubin in the red corner, taking on Priscilla de Souza in the blue. Off we go. Good jab. Oh, strong oh. start from Rubin. That overhand left, this is a different intent instantly in this second yeah, round. I, I think that she found her range already. Oh, that left, third left hand in a row. Oh, but wow. Susa's instinct, yeah, instinct and reactions, charge forward, try and get hold of the body, and she did so. She's gonna set this up again. Oh, rubber guard now. And the Souza is in the half guard right now. And she's got over four minutes to work on her opponent. And that was a strong start on the feet from Olga Rubin. I'm not sure exactly what was said, but like you said, she seemed to find the range instantly. The left hand connected a couple of times. Setting this up again, Jan. Setting this up, up again. again. But this Souza should be aware of it. Like you said, this Souza is heavy on top. Very heavy. That base that understanding of distributing the weight, controlling your opponent, and it's, it is like drowning, right? And when somebody really knows how to use their yes. hips, use their weight on you, you, you can't get your breath. Ooh, good elbow attempt by the Souza. Again, looking for this. Her right leg though is trapped. Is trapped. Yeah. She needs to free that, or she can use it to try and re-get her guard. She does so. Good work there from Olga Rubin off her back. Watch out for armbar again. Yeah, Olga Rubin, three of her six victories are by finish. All of those are knockouts, but you can see she's certainly got ground game, Jan. She's got ground game. And she's not afraid to, to, uh, to try unorthodox techniques. Oh, without a doubt, because she makes them work. Yes. She makes them work. Back to their feet they go. Let's see if Ruben can get that range once again. But now she's just got to stay switched on, because she knows that D'Souza is going to, at some point, charge for the clinch. There you yeah. go. And she does. Frame from Ruben, looking tired. Yeah. Oh, that was a a laboured knee up the middle. But I would love to see a uh, bit more, bit more wrestling entrance to that to that takedown by the Souza. Not 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 to uh, to be a bit lower. Go go yeah. uh, below uh, below the waist. I think she can't get much lower at five foot. Yeah, <laughs> I know what you mean. Though, yeah, exactly yeah. that. Like you said. Rather than try and get a body lock, attack yes. the legs, take the... Oh, Ruben on the back. Oh, oh can she oh. get the finish? This would be unreal. Big money. And heavy shots by Ruben. Big. Heavy shots by Ruben. Heavy, heavy shots. This would be unreal. What a story. Two years out of action. Coming back on five days notice, taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, D'Souza. And now with full back mount. Can she stretch out the Souza? You feel like one big flurry. This could be it. Yeah. Yeah. But the Souza is still in the game. 
She's still defending. Pepper with shots, find an opening. What a turnaround though, Jan, what a turnaround. Wow. Right in front of her corner as well, big shots coming down. They're calling the Ferretti up that output, just keep on raining down shots, 45 seconds to go. Referee is doing a great job. No, that he's not stopping in, stopping it. No, the Souza doing enough to stay in this fight. Final 20 seconds of round number two. Last 10 seconds. Ruben again showing that dexterity. Wow, what a round. Unbelievable stuff there. And Olga Rubin showing the jiu-jitsu jiu black belt that she certainly can cause her problems. D'Souza though, plenty of heart surviving there in that, the end of that third round, took lots of shots. And now we have a fascinating third round in front of us, Jan. Again, oh, really tough fight to score. Because yeah. it can go either way. And again, with the judges, it's subjective. Wow, that, here's, here's that uh, left hand. Here's that, here's that first takedown. And look, none of it's pretty by the Sousa. They're not like no. slick, no. tricky entries. She literally is charging forward, looking to get that clinch, but she makes it work. Ruben looked good in that opening 30 seconds, though, when she really did make a mark and, and get her range with some of those shots. But look at the switch now. Yeah, the switch was, uh, she was great. Uh, she proved a good orientation in, in, the, in that position. Well, you see there in the corner that Luke Barnett just put his hands at 1-1. One, one. Maybe that's how they see it. Third and final round. Off we go, Olga Rubin in the red corner, Priscilla de Souza. In the blue, Israel taking on Brazil here in the Czech Republic, Pardubica. Octagon MMA, the international it really is fighting promotion. Moving, <laughs> still walking her down. We've been holding the center of the octagon. Just be wary of that entry. Standing still. Might just be the invitation that the Sousa wants for that clinch. Right yeah, uh, sometimes it, it looks like uh, Ruben is uh, falling over into those punches, like she overcommits. And that's a good opportunity for the Sousa to enter. Sousa, nice right hand there connected with Ruben. It is all to play for you, and like you said, difficult to, to, to score this one. Luckily, that's not our job. <laughs> <laughs> nice straight left. Oh, oh, another one. Nice combination. Three minutes, 30 seconds. Oh, and again, she uses just that strike to get that clinch. I think Ruben's trying to set the same thing up again. See if she looks to pull that left leg up high again. But what I like oh, there you go. Yes. What I like about Ruben is uh, as soon as uh, her, her back uh, touched the ground, uh, she, she, start, uh, she started to work on something from her back. Yeah, certainly improved her jiu-jitsu game leaps and bounds in that two years. Really has been working hard. Stayed motivated, stayed on course. Her family, a big part of that. Her husband, her beautiful young son. And she's got a hell of a following out there in Israel as well. Very much flies that flag proudly. Stay here, we're losing over. 
De Souza not really doing much from the top position yet. Now she's posturing up a little bit. That's more to do with the uh, and attacks. Oma Plata. Oh, Oma Plata. And she powered her way back and uses it to get back to her feet. Brilliant stuff. Two minutes, two minutes left in this third and final round. De Souza looking tired. Again, looking just to step in and get that clinch. Good defense, yeah. Still, it's just, it's just the pressure. She'll get you back to the cage and she'll start working from here, De Souza. Last 90 seconds. And the has got a connection, but she's not doing anything with it yet. Now you see Ruben turning it around. Wow! Lovely, this is lovely a huge work for Ruben. Talk about digging deep, putting it on show, making a mark in this third and final round. That's what it's about. That trip was beautiful. It was beautiful from the reversal against the cage. Piece by piece, she set it up, and now she's in top position. Now, now Ruben has got to be careful to not get sweeped. Front headlock for Ruben. You see Ruben buried it. Oh, sorry, Priscilla. The Souza buried that. Neck. Oh, she's looking for this. But uh, D'Souza is doing a great job. He's, uh, uh, she's keeping, uh, she's keeping all of her weight uh, uh, down and back uh, towards her heels. Final 20 seconds. And what has been a grueling fight between these two? A real chess match. Still moving, throwing out those legs, those limbs, still attacking. There we go, the Souza raises her hands. I'm not sure it's as clean cut as that. For my money, if we're going in 1 1 at the end of that uh, second round, and, and again, we're not judges, we're not scoring this like that, we're commentating on the action. If it is for the third round, for me, the most significant moment was, was the trip takedown. You also had on the back Olga Rubin. Attacking with at least some sort of submission. Yeah, because uh, uh, this Sousa took her down, right? But Ruben, uh, like we said, worked from her back. And uh, uh, in the end of the third round, she was able to take uh, yeah. the Sousa down. So here we have some of the action from that round. Overhand round. Over that might be right. earlier in the fight. Oh. Wow. Nice combination by the Sousa. Good shots here from Ruben as well. And here's that, yes, combination followed by that first takedown. This is going to be interesting as far as what the judges deem as the most effective, significant moments of the, that third round in particular. Looks like we have a decision though. We are waiting for the one, the only Andre Novotny to enter the cage. Taking some time. We are just waiting for those scores to be collated. Always when it's a little bit of extra time, that's when you know it's a tight uh, decision. They want to get it right. So whose hand will be raised aloft? Olga Rubin from Israel or De Souza from Brazil? We are ready now. Let's find out. Let's hand it to Andre Novotny. Dámy a pánové, známe uh, bodový výsledek tohoto zápasu. So let's see how the judges scored this fight. Pojďme se společně podívat na to, jak rozhodčí viděli tenhle ten uh, zápas. 29-28, Priscila de Souza. 29-28, Priscila de Souza. 29-28, Olga Rubin. 29-28, pro Rubin. And 30-27, 3027 pro vítězku, kterou se poměrem 2-1 na body stává for the winner coming 2 to 1 point 
Olga Rubin. There we have it. What a moment. Two to one split decision there. Big bag over Olga Rubin. Two years out of the cage. Finally, back in there, not just returning to the cage, but returning victoriously. Brilliant stuff from that lady from Israel. Wonderful match between her and Priscilla de Souza from Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> and there's the relief on the face. Well earned, a hard earned victory. Teď tu zápasit o titul v největší, nejlepší české organizaci. Porazit Piráta a získat titul pro mě znamená získat cený skal. Ukázat se českým fanouškům, který mě neznají. A Karlo se ve molu dostat do kouta. Jsem úplně ready zbít Piráta. V je nový král.